know my grandma Scott was quite a character. My grandma Scott, she was my mom's mom, and she had been through a very uh, difficult life and so many challenges. Uh, she she took care of her mother uh, up, up into her 30s, and she didn't even marry until that point. She married an older man who, who, who died when my mom was, I believe, around six years of age, and she had to go on as a single mother. Then she remarried, and he, he died at a young age, and just so many struggled, but people who knew my grandma Scott knew her as a godly person. She was a prayer warrior supreme. When she died, I could feel the loss of her earthly prayers in my bones. I don't know how else to describe it, but there would be times when I would go to visit her at her apartment, which I had to let myself into her apartment because she was very hard of hearing and she wouldn't always hear me knocking. Now, that was a scary thing. Letting yourself into your grandma's apartment unannounced can be scary. But more often than not, I would walk in and catch Grandma Scott praying. Now, as a child, I knew that when we went to Grandma's house, we had to be prepared to have conversation. We couldn't go in for all this childhood tomfoolery. No, no, no. We had to sit there in those plush winged chairs next to Grandma, sit up straight, behave, and have conversation and talk to grandma. And grandma would offer us a soft drink. She loved to have Pepys or Pepys free. Does anybody remember Pepsi free? Well, grandma had Pepys free. She would offer us and uh, uh, don't take it because it's going to be flat. That's just a little piece of advice that I learned. And then when we would leave grandma's apartment, here's the thing. Grandma had pictures of everybody she knew taped on the wall next to the exit of her apartment. And if she caught your eyes diverting to those pictures for a moment, she would start to tell you the story of every person in those pictures. Now, I knew that Grandma just didn't want us to leave when it was time to leave. She wanted to spend more time with us. But it became, in my mind, the wall of death. And my joke would be, whatever you do, don't look at the wall of death, because if she sees you looking at it, she's going to stand there on her feet, which she, it was hard for her to do, but she would stand there for the next half hour telling you the story of everybody in those pictures. But oh, how I loved my grandma, Scott. And may God bless you with the relationship that enriches your life. May God bless your wall of stories. Sometimes these blessings will mean different things to different people. May you receive that and may it be so in the name of Jesus. Music.